Make sure y'all boys and girls go follow me on Twitch or Kick. Go follow me on uh, Instagram and TikTok. All the links are in the description and go to the Patreon link in the description. And let's go ahead and get into this. Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Godzilla Mo. And today, boys, I'm about to show y'all the best defensive set so y'all boys can stop pick and rolls right now in NBA 2K24. Now, what I mean by stop pick and rolls, okay, boys? What I mean by that isn't just like any regular sets because when somebody run pick and rolls, these are just like, like this, like this is literally how I play. I ain't gonna lie. I'm basically showing y'all boys how to stop me when I play NBA 2K24. I'm about to show y'all the settings, all right? And these are specific settings for this to specifically stop this type of offense, okay? So make sure y'all go to the Patreon link in the description because I'm about to start posting breakdowns of uh, a lot of stuff over there. So make sure y'all go to the Patreon link in the description. I'm about to, I'm actually about to get one done after this. I'm about to get a breakdown done and ready for y'all boys to go up tomorrow or the time y'all seen this should be up but yeah let's go ahead and get into it so let's go ahead and go out right quick make sure i hit that sub button boys hit that sub button 2k25 but it come out in like three months so i know basically three months is not that long but it is a long time but it's really not that long if you think about it because we're gonna have college football all that good stuff okay so first thing is it depends on what team you got i'm gonna do a separate video for the patreon on that for specific settings for sp for specific teams but let's say i do get the grizzlies right which the grizzlies have a great team man i'm not saying that team is horrible or a bad defensive team but let's go here to skip this right quick now we already care about intros which they, they do need to start they need to bring them back in the nba player like player intros that was so hard but it's right here boys on the screen what you want to do first of all go to your coach's side just turn this all the way down make sure it help defense is at zero nada nothing okay now if your opponent right so say you watched one of my previous videos on the best defensive settings for a like, period all right for like the regular regs okay you just put those in but then you load the game and somebody just running straight pick and rolls like it's like five out pick roll pick roll pick roll pick roll and you just like bro how do i stop this and so you go to your settings to change them again i'm gonna show you boys what, what you want to do for the stop the for the stop uh 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 pick and roll what you want to do is first thing out i, I want to tell y'all click the right bumper and go to the player they're mostly running pick and rolls with so most times when they have the clippers celtics they were running between the one through four position so everybody on this team right now right here that's in the game can run pick and roll so what you want to do is add analyze know this james Harden is going to be that main barn so when james Harden has the ball right you want to run because james Harden can hit the three ball and he can get to the basket okay that's another thing so you got to watch out for that but i'm going to show you what y'all want to do you want to run catch heads you need to run catch heads this is very key you need to run catch heads some people say some people do run no hedge and then just you know do what they want to do with that but catch heads is very key if they're just running straight pick and rolls okay after you do that you want to run and go over go over i'm gonna tell y'all boys why don't run go under with catch heads what's going to happen is they're going to basically when he when the defender that's checking harding go under that screen he's going to get hit by the dude that's catching a like catch hedge in the screen so you don't want that you want to run to go under i mean go over go over okay because harding remember he's a scoring he's a he can get to the basket and get the three ball okay and it also depends on how your opponent plays next thing y'all boys want to do okay go up here Whatever team you got, okay, make sure you put your best defensive player on their main bar handler. This is like key. Like, I be loaded up the games to play now, and they just be having random people on like John Moran. Like, don't do that, boys, okay? So, the best defensive player, obviously, if I were to use them, I would throw in Marcus Smart. Even though Marcus, like, this is another thing I want to tell y'all. If you load up a game with the Grizzlies, right? Obviously, the Grizzlies, their starting lineup is Darren Jackson, Aldama, Vince, Bain, and then Morant. But before the game starts, throw in your best defensive player even if even if his jump shot is really hard to time just put him in the game trust me he's going to help you score on offense on defense if that makes sense okay boy so put in market smart and throw him on james harden even if harden does still score think about it this is what this is how i think about it if harden still scores the first quarter maybe a little bit of the second but at third or fourth quarter he's going to be so tight especially five minute quarters on play now or even if you play wages you know four minute quarters harden is going to be tired okay so i would throw market smart on him and it's plus harder has a fast jumper so i would recommend running the smother tight and smother tight is the way to go but next thing is okay if you want to stop picking rolls boys 
the next thing is you want to go to the individual adjust individual adjustments like i told y'all right go to the least scoring person so zubak he's a center that can't shoot mid-range that can't shoot threes even though it says mid range at b minus his jump shot is like just horrible it's horrible if he isn't under the paint he's uh, he, he, he's a non-factor so if it's a pick and roll you know what i'm saying make sure on the big right because that's where they're gonna be getting most of the screens from make sure this is set to front or three fourth top okay i heard I, i've been i've been using three fourth top and it's been working so three fourth top on this guy and let me see who else sometimes they might get a screen from Kawhi, so i would say three fourth top on him okay boys so this is what y'all want if you want to stop this i'm gonna tell y'all boys why you want to this is the one of the most key settings in the game for you to stop picking rolls number one you're going to x switch a lot so when you x switch zubak say marcus smart you x switch with uh jaron jackson marcus smart is too smart to take zubak in a paint but what's going to tend to happen is if marcus smart a switch that that pick when he gets uh recovers like this recovers a little bit and hit it harden or whoever got, uh again got the ball in hand from the screen and they throw that ball in the paint marcus smart since his past perceptions at like 90 something 96 97 and his steal is at 95 96 he's going to get steals so much that the player that you're playing is not going to want to throw that ball to the paint no more he's just going to try to go straight to the basket with harden and or whoever you know they use and that's basically what they're going to do and that's what y'all boys want okay that's exactly what y'all boys want okay this is just some ways y'all boys can stop the pick wrong i'm just trying to help y'all boys out okay now if your opponent is is strictly you know what i'm saying he's getting pick and rolls but he's not just getting it from one player that's why i tell y'all individual adjustments is the most key thing notice just notice what team they got you got to know what team you know obviously with the clippers harder gonna have the ball in the sand like terrence man not going to be dribbling so you don't have to worry about terrence man don't go to him and try to worry about okay i need to do this do this and stop terrence man i mean he has a fast jumper but other than that he's a liability on the court like he has no defense he's got decent height but that's pretty much it like you don't gotta worry about him okay paul george is going to be the secondary ball and he has good handles in this game crazy good handles so this is the next guy you have to worry about and that's why I say I always like to put somebody tall. If I don't have another good defender like Marcus Smart, I have somebody tall in, like at least somebody tall. And if not, I just go zone. But most times I don't run zone. I will have somebody tall in. So say I use my boy Brandon Clark. He has a horrible trash jump jumper. But if it, if he is wide open, you know what I'm saying, he can green it. But he's a good lockdown defender to throw in George. And you remember, when you use a team like the Grizzlies, you're only really trying to score with who? John Morant. Jaron Jackson and then Desmond Bain. So you the Brandon Clark and Smart there is only gonna be the three-point line and you know catch and shoot threes or stop in the, on, on defense or in transition. So these guys are your defenders. You gotta remember, you gotta have these guys in so you can get stops to turn defense into offense. Okay, boys? Especially when John Moran gets tired. So for a guy like Paul George, who don't have a fast release, he don't have the fastest release, okay? But he can dribble and when he get to the basket he can easily get a foul call like this is another thing he can easily get a foul call so what y'all boys want to do okay what y'all boys want to do is simply 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 when you go to him you don't have to run smothered on george like you don't have to you can now if he's getting if he's doing like glitchy moves then you might have to but that's where the eight switch come in if he's doing stuff like that user is the guy that's sending the screen and X switch to P. And now some of y'all might not know what that is. It's just whole A or whole X on your controller. And it's going to X switch onto whoever's the closest by him. Okay. So I will run me personally on the secondary ball handler, which is Paul George. I will run tight on him. And you can't, if they, now look, if people aren't running, right? If they aren't running, uh, what's this called? What's this called? What's this called? Backdoor screen, backdoor cuts. I mean, not back, yeah, backdoor cuts. Run tight on their players. Okay. On their main ball handler specifically. Now, the last thing y'all boys want to do if you want to stop pick and roll, go to the the person, the people with the slowest releases, so it's jump shots on, on a team and nine scores. So Zubak, run gap on him. When basically when they get a screen, right, and say you get beat off the screen, you can't ace was fast enough. The person that's checking Zubak from the corner is going to since he's on gap defense, he's going to hit that guy that's going to the basket. Like it, ninety percent of the time, he's going to get hit and it's automatically going to switch and it's going to slow that guy down, especially like James Harden from getting to the basket. And trust me, I'm gonna try to hide clips at the end of the video so y'all boys can see it. But yeah, run gap on him, Kawhi. You, me personally, I run lead them on Kawhi. His jump shot isn't that fast and i can always recover to it especially when he get tired leave them george i don't want to do that because his jump shot is decently fast but not fast like Harden. you don't want to do that i would run tight tight and then terrence man says his jump shot is really fast and that's really only thing he can do 
it's run tight so hopefully this helped y'all boys uh the best defensive settings to um you know stop the pick and roll right now and 2k24 i'll see y'all boys in the next video peace